What is going on you guys? Before we get into the video, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Master & Dynamic featuring their new MG20 wireless gaming headset. Master & Dynamic is a luxury premium brand and they want to dive into the gaming scene and the MG20 is no exception. 50 millimeter drivers, lightweight with magnesium ear cups, paired with lambskin leather, also with Alcantara and coated canvas headband with on-head detection. And then on top of that, you get dual microphone options, an onboard and a detachable external microphone, 7.1 virtual surround sound with low latency and up to 22 hours of battery life, but it can also be wired as well. I've been using this gaming headset for some time now and I love the premium build quality and performance. I will be making a more in that review video but in the meantime check the link down in the description below to learn more about the mg20 and thank you mass and dynamic for sponsoring this video what's going on you guys this is tech hd coming at you with a brand new video and today i am super excited to be making this video so today we're going to be reviewing the elgato 4k 60 pro mark 2 version and this one i'm really excited about because i really want to upgrade my setup to in order to support 4k as well as uh 1080p pass through and uh, 1440p pass through at higher hertz and mainly due to the fact that i got a second pc now so as you can see behind me i have my digital storm pc and that is running the regular hd 60 pro and i want to get a lot more into pc gaming and streaming stuff like that and I have monitors that support 1080p and 1440p at 144 hertz. And the HD60 Pro only supports up to 1080p 60 hertz. And so it's basically bottlenecking. It's not allowing me to go to a higher refresh rate. Um, so unfortunately, that is the downside of it. But now with the 4K60 Pro, it allows me to do 4K60 with HDR10 support. So it's perfect for the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro, as well as it does 1080p 240Hz pass through, as well as 1440p 144Hz pass through. So I'm able to benefit using my monitors and able to get the highest Hertz as well as the highest quality when it comes to streaming. So I'm definitely excited that I'm going to be upgrading from the HD60 Pro. And if you guys haven't seen that video i'll leave a link down in the description below or you can click on the eye to check that video out but basically we're going to be unboxing this we're going to be setting this up and i'll be showing you guys all the benefits of it and we're going to see how it overall performs so now taking a look at what you get in the box we got the low profile bracket an hdmi cable an elgato sticker and the capture card itself the 4k 60 pro takes a pcie by 4 slot and you have an hdmi in and out port now talking about the specs, the 4K60 Pro Mark II can capture up to 4K 60fps HDR10, it has a 1080p 240fps pass-through, a 1440p 144fps pass-through, and of course a 4Kfps pass-through. All of these are also HDR10 pass-through compatible and has a max bitrate of 140 megabits per second. The system requirements are at least a 6th gen Intel i7 or AMD Ryzen 7 or greater an NVIDIA GTX 10 series card, and a PCIe by 4 to by 16 slot on your motherboard. Now, setting up the 4K60 Pro with the desktop PC is very easy. You just hook up the card into one of the PCIe slots on the motherboard, connect your console or second PC into the HDMI import, and then connect to your monitor or TV through the HDMI out port. After that, it's just plug and play for the most part with OBS Studio and XSplit and you can add your overlays, cameras and microphone and you're good to go. But we could also install the 4K capture utility and this will give us a few extra features to mess with. I recommend going into the settings, go to the device and for me, I prefer having my input EDID mode set to display and you can set your EDID to whatever suits you. I play at 1440p 144Hz so I set mine to 1440p. Next, go to the recording tab and set your video encoder to be your graphics card. This will of course give you the best performance in recording gameplay. I also have the enable HDR recording on to give you the best highlights, shadows, and all the console support HDR10, so I highly recommend enabling that. Your format in which you want to record can go all the way up to 4K at 60fps and your bitrate could be up to 140 megabits per second to get you the best quality. Next, we have one of my favorite features and that is the flashback recording. I could record the last 5 minutes of my gameplay and go all the way to 4 hours so you don't have to constantly be recording just to wait for a crazy clip. It both saves you storage and time. And lastly, in the mic tab, you can set your microphone for some live commentary if you want. 
not only do you have all these features, but this capture card also supports multi-feed or multi-app, which means that I can have OBS Studio running with my gameplay, with my stream overlays, while at the same time having the 4K capture utility opened up, and I can capture raw gameplay footage without my face cam and stream overlays, and it'll just be a high resolution instead of a VOD like on Twitch. Now the 4K Capture Pro offers a ultra low latency to the point that you don't need to sync your camera and microphone to the gameplay and add delay to get it right. Much less of a headache and the footage looks honestly amazing. So here is some raw gameplay footage from the 4K60 Pro using the 4K Capture utility. Come, come. I am Chef Tulio and like all great artists, I can only create beauty when I'm suffering. Okay. To make my greatest dish yet, I must harvest the Serangian honey below us with this vacuum suck. But doing so requires my full attention, so I'll need someone to defend me from those allergic to brilliance. If you wish to be a part of culinary history, start the extraction sequence with that hammer crank. So, what's the dish? There's been a lot of suffering lately, so I do not know yet. I will come soon. I can feel it. Not a far ring. 45. So my overall thoughts about the 4K60 Pro is I believe this is the best internal capture card as of right now in the market. I've been using this capture card for over a year now and it has been amazing. It basically has everything needed in both the hardware and the software and it is compatible with the new Xbox Series X and the PS5 to be able to play at 120Hz in either 1440p or 1080p with HDR10 support. It just overall works but offers so much more like for example the flashback recording and since this is an Elgato product, if you have a stream deck, which I know about 90% of the streamers do, you can also set a key to do a simple 5 minute flashback recording and add as many as you want and have it be about 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes and just that easy integration is overall awesome. There is little to no delay so I don't have to worry about syncing anything with the gameplay like for example my camera, microphone and alerts and the only major thing that I want and I'm waiting for is for Elgato to come out with a new 4K 120 Pro that has HDMI 2.1 and that is able to capture at 4K 120 FPS, HDR10, and also a pass-through for the next-gen consoles like for example the Xbox Series X and the PS5. But until then, I highly recommend going with the 4K60 Pro if you want to record your gameplay and getting into streaming without any limitations. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, please let me know down in the comments below as well as everything will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, TechHD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.